Hi, Timothy. When we go visit your parents next week, should we bring something? How about a pie, like apple pie or something? I think my parents will like it. How about some drinks? Should we bring them as well? No, it's okay. Are you sure? It's all right. If we ask them what they would like to have, they probably would say they don't need them. But there's something else I want you to be careful of in my family. What's that? Like manners? No, you don't have to be polite. Just don't use words like pregnant or children when you see them. It's taboo. What? Why? My parents live with my brother and his wife, right? Right. With your oldest brother, right? My brother and his wife can't have kids. Apparently, they're suffering from infertility. They tried fertility treatments, but it didn't work. I see. We just got married, but they have been married for five years, and my parents are getting impatient. I guess they have high expectations from your parents because he's the oldest. I'm sure they do. That's why things are so tense there right now. They're very sensitive to any words that remind them of pregnancy, so don't use any words related to it. You never know who will get furious. I see. Okay, I'll be careful. Yeah, thanks. I'm worried about his wife. I don't know if I should say this, but it should be hard for her to live with them. Huh? His wife? Yeah, Abigail. I'm assuming she's the one who would feel the most pressure. Well, you're right. She seems to be very responsible. I think she would blame herself. That's true. I'm glad I'm not the oldest. I can take it easy, especially since he and I are far apart in age. So the responsibility and expectations are more on him. That's probably true. I'm the youngest of three, so maybe it's easier for me too. You know. It's hard to be the oldest brother or sister. Anyway, I'll be careful what I say and do next week. I'll try not to provoke them by saying something bad. Yeah, thanks. Timothy, can I talk to you now? I have something to tell you. What's wrong? I told you I feel my stomach is bloated this morning, right? The one you mentioned this morning? Yeah, right. Your belly looked a little bloated. I've been feeling constipated lately, so I thought something was wrong with my intestines. It's a little embarrassing, but I went to see the doctor. I heard some people go see them for constipation. To the doctor? Is there something wrong? No, it's not like that. I went to the doctor, and he told me to go to OBGYN. OBGYN? Yeah. So I went to see them, and they said congratulations. What? Are you serious? You're pregnant? The doctor was surprised that I didn't notice. They said it's already grown big enough to know the gender. They said it's a boy. You never had any symptoms before? Don't you usually have morning sickness? I don't think I had morning sickness. But now that I think about it, I was very sleepy recently. But I didn't have any problems. I had a normal appetite. You didn't even notice it until your stomach started to get bigger. I thought it was because of the constipation. If I didn't have it, maybe I wouldn't have noticed. Wait, but when you get pregnant, your period stops, right? You didn't think it was strange? I've always had irregular periods. Sometimes I didn't get my period for a few months, so that's why I never noticed. I'm really glad I found out. Right, but being pregnant, I didn't expect it. You're not happy? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. But I just thought about my brother and his wife. Right. You will feel a little awkward. Hmm. How should I tell them? Maybe you have to be honest. You can't stop a child from growing up. I know. I'm glad we're having a baby. I'm happy too. I feel bad for Abigail, but if we wait for her to get pregnant, I'll be past my childbearing age too. Wouldn't your parents be sad if we didn't have kids? That's true. We can't wait for the right time forever. That's right. So let's just be happy to have a baby now. I'm so glad. Yeah, congratulations. I'll tell my parents about the pregnancy. They're gonna be happy. Yeah, thank you. 
Hello, Helen. I know I'm late, but congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you, Abigail. I heard you didn't notice your pregnancy. Is the baby in your belly growing well? I know, right? Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Ah,、oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, I'm relieved too. I know it's going to be tough until the birth, but hang in there. Yes, I'll do my best. Hey, is Timothy with you right now? Timothy? He's not here. He's at work. Is something wrong with him? Oh, he's not there. Good. He won't come home yet, will he? No. He won't be home until after 7 p.m. What's the matter? Um, there's something I have to tell you. It's not very good news for you. Perhaps you're angry, Abigail. I'm sorry. I felt sorry for you too, but. Sorry for what? Because I knew your husband and you are working hard on your fertility treatment. But I got pregnant first, so. I'm sorry. That's what you're worried about? I'm not mad. You don't have to wait for me to get pregnant. I thought that's what you would say. That's nothing to do with me. You know what? Hey, when's the due date? You should get divorced before the baby is born. If you can, pack up your stuff and move back to your parents' house now. What? Divorce? What's the matter with you? Why would you suddenly say that? Your in laws and your husband are all enemies. And my husband, of course, too. Enemies? What are you talking about? What on earth do you mean? They're planning something terrible behind you. A plan? I don't know what you're talking about. The in laws and my husband, they're going to adopt your baby as our baby after he's born. What? Really? I haven't heard anything about that. They're going to ignore your opinion. They're planning behind your back so that you won't resist. Why would they? Because I couldn't have children. But that doesn't mean. You're going to have a boy, right? They say that he's the perfect one to take over the family. I think they're serious. I'm sorry, it's my fault. But to give away our child, my husband would never allow such a thing. But you know what? He agreed so easily. He said, You're healthy, so you can have another baby. No way. The people in the family you marry into, they think of you as a tool to bear their children. They call me useless every day. That's terrible. My wife is not a tool. That's right. But they don't have any common sense. It's better to have the baby near your parents' house. To be honest, I don't think you can trust anyone, including Timothy. I can't believe my husband would agree so easily. I guess he gets influenced easily by others. He seems to follow his family's words without thinking and doesn't care about your feelings at all. I never thought he was that heartless. He's a little insensitive, but I didn't think he'd give away our child. My husband is going to give him some money in turn. That's why he's so into it. What kind of person is he? So you are against it? Of course I am. Ignoring the mother's opinion and deciding something like this? How evil are they? That's why I had to tell you. Thank you. I definitely don't want to give away my child. Okay, I'm going to go to my parents' house and talk to my husband. I think that's a good idea. Get away as soon as you can. I'll let you know if anything happens. Helen, are you out? It's unusual for you to be out this late. You're coming home, right? Hey, answer me. I'm not coming home anymore. Huh? What are you talking about? Where are you? I'm about to fly. You're getting on a plane? Where the hell are you going? I'm going home to my parents. I'm divorcing you. What the hell is wrong with you? I already know about your plan. You're going to adopt my child to your brother, right? How did you know that? Abigail told me. Abigail? She considered my feelings and told me to run away. Oh, come on. That's why you're divorcing me? That's insane. You think I'm insane? How dare you decide to give them my child without my permission? I can't believe it. Why don't we just have another baby? You said you felt sorry for my brother and his wife because they couldn't have kids. Let's at least give away one of ours. 
You got to be kidding me. I don't think I'm the one to say this because I'm not your wife, but why don't you protect her at a time like this? Huh? It's me, Abigail. My husband and your parents are assholes, to be honest, and so are you for agreeing to them. You think of your wife as a tool to bear your children. That's not what I think. I wouldn't think Helen is a tool. Then you're simply ignorant. Why won't you have another kid? Don't be stupid. I've worked as an OBGYN nurse for years, and I've seen many women die by giving birth. That's an irregular case, isn't it? I'm sure that medicine has developed a lot now. Childbirth is much safer than it used to be. But you know, human body still works the same way. The burden on pregnant women is still the same today. You're telling her to give a birth like that and give that precious baby to others, and now you want her to have another one? Your wife and the child are not your toys. I didn't mean to call them toys. If you get pregnant with your first child, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to get pregnant with a second one. Maybe you never will. And when that happens, will you be able to keep your mouth shut? That's. A child is not a thing, it's a gift. Above all, for a mother, it's more important than her own life. Of course, Helen would be disappointed in you and leave. I just. I just thought it would be better for my brother. I didn't think that far ahead. Such a fool. You're not qualified to be a father. What's more, you're not qualified to be Helen's husband. I don't want to get divorced. Which paper is it? I won't tell you. Anyway, you won't make it even if you drive now. If she gets in trouble regarding this divorce, I'll do everything I can to support her. I have the perfect evidence to fight off your shitty family. A proof? I secretly filmed where you guys were talking about the plan. I've got a good shot of you guys saying all those horrible things like you can make a baby again or make her unresistible. When did you film us? That would prove enough, won't it? With this, even if there's a battle over custody, Helen might have the upper hand. This is an abuse of human rights. I don't want to lose Helen. I can't stand it. I'll never get divorced. You love me that much? Helen? Then why did you allow this shitty plan? I can never trust you again. I can't feel relieved by staying with you. That's why I have no choice but to divorce you. Helen, wait. I'm sorry I didn't consider your feelings and made a shallow decision. I'm sorry I said you could have another baby so easily. There's no love towards you anymore. I'll raise the baby on my own. Then I'll come see you. I'll go apologize in person. My father and grandpa will kill you if you come. We all are furious with you. My grandpa is going through his old contacts to find me a good lawyer. My whole family will fight against you guys. I'm not gonna fight you. Then just accept the divorce and give up the custody. Why don't we all talk about this? Come back here. Let's talk about this peacefully. I'm not going to get into the enemy territory. I don't want anything to happen to my baby. I'm not your enemy. It's our house. I'm asking you to come back to our house. It's not safe for me there either. So I'm not coming back. Unlike you, I'm taking action to protect my child. To me, your parents, brother, and you are all enemies. Don't think of me as a tool that you can use to your advantage, okay? After that, I officially divorced my husband and declared that I would have custody of the child. Sure enough, my in laws were fighting me for the custody. Actually, I was expecting this to happen. My grandpa and parents provided me with a good lawyer, and I had the evidence from my sister in law. My in laws put their own interest first, and the lawsuit that they ignore my feelings and try to take away my child has been approved, so I was able to get the custody. My husband was so devastated because he lost me and shut himself down. Now he blames his parents and brother for my loss, and he's in a lot of trouble with his parents. Meanwhile, 
My brother-in-law and his wife divorced after us. Abigail has remarried a man who understands infertility, and they're living happily together. I'm also living happily with my parents, grandparents, and my child. Honey, it's been almost six hours. You can't stay out all night. The kids are asking for you. They won't go to bed because they want you to come home and say good night. Adam, I'm running out of excuses to tell our children. I can't exactly tell them that their dad would rather spend his time gambling than with them. Please, just come home. Adam, this is unacceptable. The kids and I were up all night waiting for you to come home. Where are you? I'm really starting to worry. I just want to know that you're okay. I can't believe you won't even text me back. We've been married for seven years. I deserve more respect than this. Adam, please. I just want to know that you're all right. I'm worried sick, and I really don't know what to tell our children why their daddy hasn't come home. I've just spoken to your brother. He says you hit the jackpot last night and won over five million dollars. But you haven't bothered to call or even text me to let me know you're okay? Where are you? Hello, my beautiful new bride. Last night was the best night of my life. It's great that we can finally be together officially. Adam, what are you talking about? What do you mean we can be together officially? Oh, Ilana, I mean we can finally live the life we wanted. And why did you call me your new bride? We've been married for six years. I, uh, just, just feel like our life has been renewed. Adam, why do I feel like this message was meant for someone else? Don't be ridiculous. Of course it was meant for you. Who else would I be sending messages like this to? Okay, when will you be home? You've been gone almost an entire day. Oh, well, I have some things I need to sort out before I can come home. What sort of things? Why can't you sort them out at home? Just some legal things to do with the jackpot money. I have to go back to the bank and things, so I'm just going to stay at the hotel in the casino. Well, when will you be coming home then? I'll see you and the kids on the weekend. Hi, honey. I haven't heard from you all week. Is everything okay? I've just been busy with things here. I've been on a winning streak, so I don't want to lose my mojo. The kids have been asking for you. Do you think you can take a break from gambling for a while so you can spend some time with them? I told you I'd come home on the weekend, Ilana. Don't pester me. I'm not pestering you. I'm just worried about you. We haven't seen you for a couple of days, and you seemed so distant. It's all in your head, Ilana. Do you not want me to get rich? Not everything is about money. I just want our family to feel whole again. Hi, Rebecca. My name is Ilana. You don't know me, but I found your number online. I need to talk to you about Adam. Uh, hi? How do you know about Adam? And what do you need to talk about? This is going to come across as very weird and suspicious, but if you can just trust me, an answer, honestly. Okay, what do you want to know? How long have you known Adam, and what is he to you? Well, we've been dating for about two years, but we recently just got married. He's also the father of my child. Wow, okay. What? Adam is my husband of seven years, and the father of my two kids. Excuse me? That's crazy. I would know if Adam was cheating on me. Do you know where Adam is right now? Yes, he's just left to go to the office for a couple of hours. He has some work that needs to be done. Adam is supposed to be coming to see his kids now. He hasn't been home for almost two weeks because he's been out gambling. Because he says he's on a winning streak and is supposedly living at the hotel in the casino. No, that can't be right. We can't be talking about the same person. You got married about two weeks ago, didn't you? How'd you know that? Because he sent me a message that was meant for you. How do you know it was meant for me? I've had a feeling for a little while now that something wasn't right in our relationship. He's been distant and gambling a lot more and staying away from home. 
I never thought he'd been cheating on me for so long. But when I received that message, I knew he must be living a double life. I had to do some snooping around. But I finally figured out that it's you that is his other woman. This can't be true. I'm gonna call him right now and straighten this all out. No! Don't! I have an idea! What idea? If we let him know that we know what he's done, we won't get anything out of it. Let's make him pay for what he's done to us. I still don't believe all this is true. How about this? We follow in the next few days and get proof that he's playing the both of us. Then, when we know for sure, we can get our revenge. Alright, fine. That lying? Two-timing waste of oxygen! I didn't want to believe it, but you're right! He's been cheating on me with you! Technically, he's been cheating on me with you. I've been married to him longer, which makes you his mistress. Either way, he's been living a life of lies, and I want nothing more to do with it. I've been thinking, instead of coming right out and confronting him, we should get our own back first. What are you thinking? Well, it isn't just us he's messed with. He's ruined our children's lives being absent and an all-around deadbeat dad. He can't just get away with that. We deserve something out of it. I'm listening. Well, he won't buy anything for me anymore, but I could milk him for things for the kids. And I'm sure he's still willing to buy your love. You should try and get some new valuables. I like the way you think. Let's run him dry. That's it. I think he's officially run out of money. You've obviously been doing well because he seems super stressed out. I just got him to agree to buy me my dream car. I don't think he realized the amount when he signed off on the paperwork. I think that was the tipping point. I told him I needed $3,000 to get some necessities for the kids, and he just about bit my head off. I persuaded it out of him anyway, but I don't think he has anything left. Good. That flea bag deserves nothing. What's the plan now? Now we take him down. I'm gonna file for divorce, but you can have him charged with bigamy and have your marriage annulled. Good! I want nothing more to do with that man! I can't believe I fell for his lies and married him! I'll be so glad when this marriage is dissolved! Hi, Adam! What do you want, Helena? Wow! What bit you in the ass? I just have a lot on my mind. I've been a bit reckless lately when I should have been putting money back into working the machines. If only you could make a full-time job out of gambling. Did you need something, or are you just here to bug me for more money again? Because I don't have. That's a shame. But no, that's not why I'm messaging you. I've just emailed you some papers. Be a doll and sign them for me, please. I think you've sent me the wrong document. These are, these are divorce papers. Oh, good. So you did get them. What do you mean? Sign the papers, Adam. I want a divorce. What? Why? I'm tired of playing dumb, Adam. I know you've been living a double life. I don't know what you're talking about. You're acting crazy. And I'm so tired of you trying to gaslight me. I know all about your relationship with Rebecca and your other child. You can cut the act now. How, how did you find out? I've been so careful. Please tell me you haven't confronted her. No, Adam, you haven't. I knew something was up the minute you sent me a text, meant for her. And of course I told her. We women need to stick together against sick men like you. No, she can't know. Oh, she knows. And not only that, but she's busy filing a case of bigamy against you. This, ugh, this can't be happening. I've invested so much, the car, the new piece of land. And you, with the kids, if she leaves me, I'll have nothing left. Serves you right. Now, if you wouldn't mind, you can either sign those divorce papers now and take the easy way out, or I can take you to court and sue you for alimony. No, please, you can't do this to me. I'll be waiting for those papers, Adam. I can't believe it. We did it. Adam was charged with bigamy, 
and sentenced to a year in prison. I also managed to get him to sign divorce papers, but little does he know that I'm gonna sue him for alimony anyway. You go, girl. Take him for all that he's worth. I don't think there's much more anymore, but at least I know we got everything we could out of him in any case. I've been thinking. While we were draining his accounts, I convinced him to buy me a plot of land in the countryside. What do you think about moving into the farmhouse together and letting our kids grow up together? They're half-siblings after all. That actually sounds amazing. We could all do with a fresh start. The countryside would definitely do us all some good. Amazing! Let's do it! Alana, it's me, Adam. Adam? I thought you were in prison. What do you want? I've just been released. I need you. Need me? What for? So you can use me again? I was hoping they'd lock you up and throw away the key. Please, Alana. I'm so sorry for everything I did. I just need you to take me back. Why would I take you back after everything you've done to me? And you've forgotten about Rebecca and how you messed up her life too? I have nothing, Ilana. I need your help to get back on my feet. I know you're earning rental income from our previous home that you got from me and Alimony. Please. You're the only one I want. Oh, there it is. Sorry, but that sounds like your problem, not mine. After everything you've put me through, I've sworn off men. I want nothing to do with you or any other man ever again. No, don't say that. I can fix things. It's too late for that, Adam. Now beat it. I have nothing more to say to you. Hey, hun. You won't believe who just messaged me. Who? Adam. No way. What did that piece of trash want? He's just gone out of prison and was begging me to take him back. It was pathetic. I somehow wouldn't have expected anything less from him. What did you tell him? I told him to get lost. I want nothing to do with him, or any man for that matter. Good for you, sweetie, but do you know what that means? What? We've been living together for a whole year now. No way, really. It seems just like last month we merged our households and our family became one. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Me neither. Hey, can I talk to you about something? Of course, what is it? I'm a bit embarrassed, so I didn't want to bring this up in person. But we've been living together for a little while now, and I've been really loving it, getting to spend time with our kids and with you. I've been loving it too. I couldn't ask for a better family than the little one we've built together. I couldn't either, but the thing is, I've been having these feelings for a little while, and I just want to come clean and come right out and say it. Go ahead. You can tell me anything. Rebecca, I think I love you. Oh my god! I'm so happy to finally hear you say that out loud! What? What do you mean? I've been feeling the same way, but I've been too shy to say anything. But I've noticed the way you look at me, and the things you say. You knew? Why didn't you say anything? I wanted you to make the first move. And you finally have! You don't have to be embarrassed, because I love you too, Alana. You do? I do. This is amazing. I've never felt so elated in my life. Me neither. Is that how we know it's real? I guess so. Now that we finally have that out of the way, I have something I want to talk to you about too. Yes? I've been thinking about it a lot lately. What do you think about using some of the land on our plot and opening up an organization for women? I'm listening. What kind of organization? One for women who are in similar situations to what we were in. I want to help other women who are in abusive or toxic relationships. I want to create a safe environment for them so they can escape to and help them heal. I mean, we have enough space for it. I love this idea. And you know what? We can use the money I'm getting as alimony to get it up and running. It's only right that Adam be the one to pay for this, as he's one of the reasons women need such a sanctuary. Really? Are you sure? Definitely. It's an amazing idea. As women, we need to stick together 
and help others to get out of situations where they can be used, mistreated, and abused. We need to do this to make the world at least a little bit better for our children. I can't believe it. This is going to be fantastic. Let's do it! After falling in love with each other, Ilana and Rebecca went on to get married. They opened up the organization on their plot of land and were able to build it up into an amazing business. Women come from all over to find sanctuary in their organization. Thanks to this, Ilana and Rebecca have been able to help thousands of women. Their kids continue to be brought up in a loving family home where they learn to respect each other's rights and needs, as well as how to live off the land. The family doesn't just live in the farmhouse, but they also have transformed the land into a working farm which they can live off of. The women who have found salvation at their organization are also able to work on the farm and take part in different programs to help them heal and become rehabilitated. As for Adam, after he came crawling back to Ilana and she told him off, he was never heard from again, aside from his alimony payments.